Welcome back. Let's, um, let's get ready to do a drill. I'm going to ask you to take the file doi.txt, which of course you can find on the course website, and build a word histogram. So for every word inside of that file, doi, um, you should tell me how many times it appears. So some will appear a lot, words like the, and other words will appear very little. Okay? And to help you along the way, I'm going to give you two helper functions. Let me describe that, and then I'm going to give you some time to do the, the drill, and then I'm going to come back and give you my solution. So this function, and of course these two things along with DOI are on the course website, so you can go ahead and do download those, shove them into your Jupyter notebook. So this uh, uh, prints a dictionary in sorted order, and here on sorted order I'm going to sort on the count, so it will print things in the order in the fre with, with respect to their frequency. Um, you don't have to worry about exactly how this, this works, but what it does is it takes as input a dictionary, so obviously you should be doing using a dictionary to build the histogram, and it will print things out in sorted order on the frequency of each word. So your key in the dictionary will be the word found in DOI, the value will be how often that word was found here. Now, a couple of things, I don't care about capital letters and I don't care about punctuation. So this function called strip word will take as input a, a, a word. Um, it will remove all punctuation, which is what these are doing here, including carriage returns, and it will convert to lowercase, and then it will hand that back to you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna parse this file one line at a time. For each line, you're gonna parse it one word at a time. You're going to pass that word to this function to strip out punctuation and convert to lower. And then you're going to add it into the dictionary if it's a new word not previously seen, or increment the count if the word was seen before. So think through the logic of this a little bit. Oh, and of course, at the very end, you're going to print this out so you can see if it worked. So think through the logic of how you want to do this. Obviously, you're going to use a dictionary. You've got to do a little bit of file I.O., which we've already seen before and then you're going to use these two functions to help you out. And when we come back, I'm going to show you my solution. All right, I hope you got that. Let me go ahead and show you my solution. So first things first, I'm going to open the file doi.txt with read only. I'm going to initialize my dictionary, curly bracket, curly bracket. And notice here I have two nested for loops for line in my file for w in words. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing a line of my file. So my file, of course, is the file descriptor that I just opened. So line will be the first line, the second line, the third line, separated by the carriage returns. I'm going to split that line on a space. So words now is going to be an array of words. I'm going to take each of the words in that array, so for W in words, I'm going to strip out the punctuation and convert to lowercase. So at this point in the for loop, I've gotten one line of text, I've gotten one word, and now I've got to do a little bit of work. And I'm going to do that over and over and over again for every word in the line and for every line in the file. So what do I want to do? Well, first thing I'm going to do is make sure that, they're, that, they're, that, that this thing has some length, that I didn't just find a bunch of spaces with punctuation, like space, dash, space, in which case, I'm going to just go ahead and ignore it. So if the length of W is greater than zero, that means there's actually some characters in there after I've stripped everything out, including punctuation. Then, what do I want to do? Well, if it's already in the dictionary, then I want to increment the count in the dictionary. And if it's not, well, I want to put it in the dictionary. So if W and DOI, DOI is the dictionary that I just initialized. Remember this in notation. W is the key... I'm asking, is the key in the dictionary? If it is, well then I'm going to index into the dictionary on W, and I'm going to increment the count by one because I've just found a new instance of the word. And if it's not, well I'm going to shove it into the dictionary by setting DOI of W to be one. So here, I haven't seen it before, add it to the dictionary and set the value to one. Here I've seen it before, so simply go ahead and increment the value by one. I spin in this inner loop here over and over again, doing it for every word in a line, and then I spin in the outer loop, doing every single line of the file. Eventually, don't forget to close your file, that's important, and then I'm gonna print my dictionary, and I get the output. 
So this solution will be uh, on the course website. Um, and so if you're not sure if you got exactly the right answer, go ahead and run this and make sure the numbers come out the same. All right, so that's it for dictionaries. Really beautiful, elegant data structure. Um, you can just use it in Python. You don't have to, you don't have to build one your own, your own the way we did with linked list. Very, very powerful data structure, particularly for finding things in a very efficient manner. All right, when we come back in the next lecture, we're going to start talking about a new data structure. We're going to talk about graphs. Okay, so uh, see you in a little bit, and we'll pick it up then.